Welcome to Lesson 6, Web Development Using Visual Studio 2010 Express. Microsoft Visual Web Developer 2010 Express provides two types of projects to build web applications, website projects and web applications projects. It's important to understand the difference between these two types of projects because it's rather time consuming to convert an application from one type of project to the other type of project. Website projects, also known as WSP, use a folder-based approach to web development. Every file that is in the folder or subfolders of the project is part of the application. Applications built with website projects are compiled dynamically when a user first requests a page. This means that you do not need to compile your files before you deploy them. For these reasons, website projects are very easy to deploy. All you have to do to deploy this type of project is to copy the files to the web server. Web application projects, also known as WAP, use a project-based approach to web development. Only files that are referred to by the project file are part of the project. This makes it very simple to exclude files from a project. Applications built with web application projects are compiled into a single assembly which by default is placed into the bin folder. You can specify the name and version of the assembly. You can also specify pre-build and post-build steps to occur during compilation. Website projects are from Mars and web application projects are from Venus. They are different tools for accomplishing the same thing. Once a website has been deployed and compiled, not many scenarios exist in which the user will experience any difference in performance. You should use website projects if you prefer dynamic compilation, need to generate one assembly for each page, or want to instantly open any folder as a project. They're great for doing demonstrations because you can mix both C Sharp and Visual Basic in one project. And your entire project does not need to be able to be compiled in order to view an individual page. You should use web application projects if you want to build ASP.NET MVC2 applications, control the names of your assemblies, build a web application comprising multiple projects, control pre-build and post-build steps during compilation, produce XML documentation, or exclude files from the project. This is really just a short list of reasons that I prefer web application projects for developing production websites. In this tutorial, you create an empty ASP.NET web application and use the Project Properties window to update the assembly information for the application. There are no lesson requirements and your hints are don't forget to select the project by clicking the project's name in the Solution Explorer and you can use Shift F4 to open the Project Properties window. To get started with this tutorial, select New Project, Visual C Sharp, ASP.NET Empty Web Application from the list of templates. Enter Lesson 6 for the name of the application and click the OK button. Right click the name of the project in the Solution Explorer and click Properties to open the Project Properties window. Make sure that the Application tab is selected. Click the Assembly information button to open the assembly information dialog box. Replace Microsoft with your name. Update both the assembly file and the file version to 2.0.11 and click the OK button. Now build the application to create the DLL. Once it's built successfully, go ahead and navigate to the Lesson 6 bin folder. Right click the DLL that was just created and view the details. You can see that the copyright information and the version information have all been updated.